before we... All right, let me tell you just a little bit about Joseph Sawyer, and then Nathan will tell you a little bit about his uncle rediscovered this cemetery from... <clears throat> been kind of hidden back here for a lot of years. The earliest burials, I think, are from 1830 or so. Joseph Sawyer. This is out of the Huntsville Democrat, November the 25th, 1837. Joseph Sawyer died at the residence of S.J. House on the 22nd instant. Mr. Joseph Sawyer, at the advanced age of 101 years, 8 months, and 11 days. So they knew exactly how old he was. Mr. Sawyer was a native of Prague, Bohemia. He immigrated to the United States in the year 1776 during the revolutionary struggle, in which he took an active part, being attached to Colonel William, Colonel William Washington's cavalry. Besides several engagements of minor importance, he was in the Battle of Utah Springs, South Carolina. After the revolution, he returned to his native country on a visit. On his return to the United States, he was seized by a press gang in London and placed on board a man of war where he remained for three years. That was basically, he was a slave on a British ship. That's one of the reasons we had the War of 1812 was because of the press gang. And he, had, he finally escaped through the agency of a smuggling vessel, he made his escape to Holland. From thence he took passage to the United States. He immigrated to this state about 15 years ago, so about 1822, and remained in this, <coughs> in this county until his death, Huntsville Democrat, November 25th, 1837. It's one of the most interesting ones that I've run across in, in my research, you know, you think, how on earth did he wind up in Madison County, Alabama? But here he is. Nathan, can you tell us just a little bit about this? Okay. Well, we've researched what we can on Joseph Sawyer. Apparently, he never had any family. And uh, we just don't know much about him. Other than, thank goodness, they wrote that in the newspaper after he died. Anyway, Donald Duncan's done some research, and Burns has done some research, and we're trying to do some research on him. but. Can't find much on him, really. But anyway, we appreciate the opportunity today to come out and honor this veteran. We place a wreath on his grave, and I guess we'll have taps. is a member of Bugles Across America and he plays at veterans funerals all around North Alabama and Southern Tennessee and he played recently in Southern Tennessee and I put the picture in the newsletter and Nathan got a copy of the newsletter and it turned out to be his great uncle. <laughs> so it's a small world. <laughs> that concludes our ceremony. Need to say anything else? Yeah.